want to be back to normal. I even have a bucket list of things that I would like to do when I'm back to my normal life, like going running on the beach, traveling, hugging my knees, going to a restaurant. I want to do all those things when I'm back to normal. It's like the womankind history is now being divided before and after the pandemic. And we are trapped in this between time, waiting to see again normal life. Guess what? I have bad news for you. The old normal, the old normal life is gone. Now that we learn that we have pandemics and that we can have other types of pandemics knocking on our doors, our life is going to be changed. And we have to be prepared for that. Please don't cry. Don't cry. Because, you know, the old normal is like some of our old boyfriends, a little bit overrated. They were not that good. In our old normal life, we have people in the planet dying of starvation, lack of water, lack of health, no vaccination, living in places where they have a war for ethnical reasons, for religion reasons, for race, or even as simple as they have oil, we want your oil, or your water, we want your water. But you're going to tell me, Marcia, I don't live in these uncivilized places. Where I live, I don't have that. I want my normal life back. Where you live, women make lower salaries than men for the same job. And if it happens that these women have a kid, the salary and the growth in the career is even slower. In the place where you live, you rarely see a female CEO. In fact, you see male, white, tall men coming from privileged families. Finally, a black female CEO is as easy as finding a unicorn. In the place where you live, scientists have been telling over and over that you have a climate change disaster that we can face problems with energy water that violence is going to grow because we are not dividing properly the resources that in some places we have waste of food and in others we don't have food at all in some places we have waste of water and in others we don't have water at all, and that health is not present everywhere, and that there are kids that never will have the chance to have education. That's the old, horrible, old normal. Now that we are in our homes, we have to think that when you are looking to the advice of this, the, the scientists in the bar, and we just told them, well, I don't believe you. Or either, okay, I believe you, but I'm going to take care of that tomorrow. I have a surprise for you. Tomorrow arrive. And because tomorrow arrive, and we are trapped in this between time, between before and after the pandemic, some of the solutions for those old problems from the old normal are popping up. Nowadays, people are sharing more the activities, the home activities, and between men and women. And we are discovering that a number of things that we refused to do in the past, and that was a burden for the women, now can be shared between women and men. The education, the cleaning the housing, the cooking. Also, we discovered that the impossible idea of giving resources to the ones that 
que have no resource at all, it's a possibility. And we have been giving money to people to survive the pandemic. Also, we are learning that sharing health and education resources, it's a possibility. Yes, we can do that. And that putting human lives in front of economics is also a possibility. Wow, we are learning that. Guess what? I have good news for you. And the good news is that during this break period, we are learning to solve long-term problems from humanity. And from now on, you can design the new normal. And this new normal, I propose, will be built on four elements, four pillars. I call them the four E's. The first E is evidence. We are going now on to make our decisions regarding where to invest, where to put our effort, who to listen, who is going to run things based on evidence, on proof. The second E is efficiency. We have to run an efficient world, a world where you don't find places in which you have waste and places in which you have nothing. And to be efficient, there is one key element, that's diversity. Studies show that if you have gender diversity, if you have ethnic diversity, you have race diversity, you make more money because Creativity comes from binding different life experience. So equity is my third one. We are going to build a world in, in which different people have the same possibility. I'm not talking about equality. Equality is like me and a two meters tall person to play basketball against each other. I have no chance to win. I'm very short so, height. Equity is when you give really a chance for people to show their possibilities. So we have to build a world on equity. A world where uh, women with kids have chance to be a CEO. So let's put the CEO's shelves down so people that were not at all can have a chance to become a CEO. And the fourth element of this thing is empathy. We will be unable to share all the resources between each other if you don't have empathy. Empathy will be the key instrument to make possible to create universal health that we are doing now, universal education, that we are doing now, and universal basic income, that we are doing now. We are showing today, in this break, in this between time, we are showing that it's possible, it's feasible to construct a new normal with evidence, efficient, equity, and empathy. Join me in this journey, and it'll be very easy. You just have to keep doing what we have been doing so far, helping each other, making a society in which you don't compete with, with unfair rules. You build the rules that make everybody to succeed together. Together, we can. <laughs>